all right people so today i just want to show you guys it's christmas time this is about a 16 inch bike um i'm gonna just show you guys a little assembly for ones that don't know um i'm sure they have instructions in here somewhere but it's pretty much self um installation pretty much like it's pretty easy to install yourself so um let me try to set this up So these nuts here are uh, about a 15 millimeter. Uh, I have this uh, 15 millimeter wrench. Uh, this is a ratchet wrench to make it you know, easier. You use your box hand to open in. So front wheel, the back wheel usually comes assembled, the chain and everything. Uh, you gotta put on the pedals and the uh, front tire. Now on the front tire, these have these little uh, washers that have a dial indicator on them. These little indicators are actually locked into place are here. So it's pretty much uh, pretty simple. So you want to line it up at the same time on the sides. You can back these off by hand right now. So you can um, move these out. All right. Once you get them into place, tighten these down by hand. Left to loose, right to tighten. So, once you get them all finger tight. All right. Finger tight. Crank these down. Give it a good snug. You don't have to try to kill it, you know. But uh, you do want to get a nice crank. Crank it down. So that's your front wheel. Now uh, go with the handlebars. Got the seat. Handlebars. You gotta take this little white cap off here. It's gonna expose the, uh, the uh, nut that you need to tighten up. So, sure. Most bikes don't have an Allen key in the top or a hex head. Um, I'm sure that this tool is in the box. I have it in my toolbox, but so once that's loose, you see it's already cut out. You pretty much want that to be lined up with that. So drop it into place, right? And you can pretty much have hold your feet on on the uh, on the tires like that and and line it up, you know. And then you want to tighten that down once you line it up. So, give me a second. Now, these pedals here are marked. Uh, you got the R, and you have, if it focuses, you have the R. Um, now, pedals are, are pretty tricky. You know, you want to actually press in, uh oh, press in towards the pedal. If you turn this part, it's not doing anything. You have to actually grab this black part here. That's pretty much what's controlling the uh, the threading. So you pretty much press in and, and turn that piece there. Because if you're turning this, it may catch, it may not. See, so it's catching, but when it's trying to tighten it down, you can't use that. So as you can see. So all the way in by hand. Then we're gonna grab the tool and tighten that one down. Same thing for this one. Line it up, but then you have to turn it in by hand. It gets tricky sometimes with the the way these things go in there. It's kind of sitting there trying to do this with one hand. So 
it's easier to do with two hands. You hold it in and then you screw it in. Um, and on the left side, it's actually reverse threads. You know, it's usually left to loose and right to tight. But on the left hand side, it's actually in this narrow. It's telling you you have to go um, counterclockwise actually to um, tighten the uh, left side up, which is kind of weird. But um, I believe this is a 916th or, oh, actually, it's a 15. So, yeah, you use a 15 to tighten up these nuts and also the pedal. So, this side we're going to the right to tighten you want to tighten the pedals because they will they will unscrew and come off so, that one tight now let's go to this side here and remember it's the opposite okay and there's a little notch on there for you to fit the wrench right on Alright, so the pedals. Now for the for the uh, training wheels. Nice little LOL. The training wheels that we hope to come off soon. This is for my three year old, so you know we'll see how that goes. Now, these usually don't have a left or right. You can put them wherever you want. I'll bring the bike up here so you guys can see. So, take this nut all the way off. There's a washer here. There's also a guide. It's a guide here also. Alright? So, I'll leave that guide on there because that guide allows this to slide up and down for you to actually adjust the. Uh, so, I'm going to actually have it down, all the way down. You see here, these nuts have these uh, nice grooves on them. Um, same as the washer, so that's why I said you don't have to crank it down too tight. You need to crank it down, but it would have to be. So we're going to move that one all the way down. Give it a good twist so it won't move. You don't want your. Um, you don't want them to be uneven. You don't want them to be able to uh, move while they ride the bike. One hand, one hand slips up, and the other hand stays down. It just scares the heck out of them. on the ground and tight. So sit on it here. And I still have to adjust her tightness up. Let me find my dang socket. So as I was saying, this here, um, I tighten it down by hand. Um, now you know you want to try to get it lined up not with the tire because this tire is all out of whack but kind of lined up with this bar here that's kind of off that looks straight and you want to give this a good cranking Hold the wheel with your feet 
crank it down. Give that a good crank. And this here is a five millimeter, or it's a five, because it's an Allen key. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So this here, it's a hex head. Let me see if I can get some light on. It's a hex head or an Allen key, right? And this one is a, somewhere. Turn the light off then. This is a seven. If you can see the seven. I'll try to focus on that. Oh well, my auto focus is tripping. But yeah, it's a seven. <laughs> and it should be a five. So Yeah, I get it. Wouldn't focus. Too busy trying to focus on the big picture. So, and there you have it. Have yourself a bicycle. <laughs>